Yeah, the, the P-8A or the Poseidon uh, is the uh, US Navy's replacement uh, for their P-3C Orions. And uh, certainly uh, within an Australian context, uh, it, it's, it is the candidate, indeed it's the aircraft that we've selected to replace the Orion uh, in about the time frame 2018. The Orion is, is an ageing airframe, so, uh, but th that said, it's still very serviceable at this point in time. Uh, it uses a turboprop as its core sort of power plant. Um, therefore, you know, getting a nice modern sort of airline based platform, although it isn't really an airline of the P8, uh, but using all the technology that airline has used to stay very reliable uh, is great and it means the aircraft is, is very, very serviceable. Uh, the key difference is it's a uh, 737-800 fuselage with a 900 wings, uh, however it's got a, a 777, Boeing 777 sort of wing extensions on the outside. The key, key differences, and there's a number of them, is that it's uh, got extra fuel, they're almost an additional 50% fuel load, taking it up into the 70,000 pound area uh, in terms of fuel. It is the heaviest 737 in the world when it's at full capacity, uh, taking it up to about again 190,000 pounds. It also has uh, a weapons bay, which is different from your standard airliner, obviously, uh, down in the back of the aircraft. The project currently has eight P8s to replace uh, the Orions we have. Uh, and they're due on the tarmac here, essentially about the beginning of uh, 2018, the first one will arrive.